Welcome. I'm Sebastian Mafud, and you're listening to WCAT Radio, the on-air wing of En Route Books and Media, bringing you the dulcet sounds of Catholic wisdom. Hello. Good morning, everyone, and good afternoon to those who are in the countries, which is the afternoon now, and good evening to those who also are in the countries, which uh, uh, it seems to be in the, in the evening now. So welcome back to the Voice of Hope show. As today we will be uh, finalizing finalizing the discussion on um, uh, the resolution which was adopted by the T.I. Moon uh, GA 2019 in Tanzania, whereby I should have done this last week, um, but uh, I got someone who was um, an experienced person uh, who has been uh, offering services or support to the people with HIV AIDS, and uh, also a person has been working uh, on different matters about HIV AIDS in Tanzania. So um, I thought it was better for us to get some thought <clears throat> from this expert. So I had a, a kind of a, a, a break on uh, the discussion about the resolution which was adopted by, by the GA or the General Assembly uh, of uh, the Tanzania Inter- uh, UN, the Tanzania Inter- International Model UN. So um, today I'll be winding up that discussion and uh, I'll be discussing on the caucus number four agenda, which was um, uh, on uh, a matter uh, talking about promoting inclusive and sustainable economic growth, employment, and decent work for young people. Uh, and this was rooted and um, the SDG number eight, the SDG number eight, which talks about decent work and economic growth. So uh, today we will try a bit to go find out why this SDG number eight, what is the current situation or what was the prevailing situation which made the UN um, on uh, its uh, 23rd agenda to come up with this goal, goal number eight, on decent work and economic growth. As we all understand at the UN, uh, in 2015, after the compilation and the, uh, the assessment and everything about the Millennium Development Goals, they came up with the now the Sustainable Development Goals, which are to be there for about 15 years, from 2015 to 2030. You see, if someone is uh, today 15 years old, um, to the moment when these goals will be uh, coming to an end, we don't know what will come next after SDGs, um, a person will be over 28, um, some are there 26 or something. So for those who are 15 years old by 2015, that means they'll be 30 years old by 2030. This means what? Um, it means those who are very young today will be now the adults They'll be the the most powerful or the most efficient um, group uh, among their communities, whom they are really supposed to be so much aware about these SDGs, um, their meaning, their impacts, and uh, all those matters. So, I I wanted us to go through a bit about uh, why brought about this SDG. Uh, so, according to uh, according to the World Economic uh, Situation Prospects, which uh, was also given by the United Nations Department of Economic and Social Welfare um, uh, on, uh, on 20, 2018, it indicates that the current situation has a, a, a rate of an employment of uh, 6.7 down, I mean 5.6 down from 6.4 in uh, uh, 
2000. Um, then uh, the, the situation provides that globally there is 6 to 1 of all workers were engaged in informal employment in 2016, uh, excluding the agricultural sector, which um, has 50, sorry, excluding the agricultural sector, 51% of all workers fell into this unemployment category. So you can see uh, the 10% out of the 61% of um, all informal employments counts uh, uh, for those who are doing uh, agriculture. Um, you can see like Tanzania has about 80% of all the people who, all the economic of all the people depends on agriculture. So men earn about 12.5% more than women in fought out of the 45 countries with the data. You can still see that um, um, men earn about 12.5% uh, more than women so wherever data is wherever rate is still men they're above women um the global gender pay gap stands at 23 percent globally and without decisive action it will take another 68 years to achieve equal pay women's labor force participatory rate participation rate is 63 uh, percent uh, while that of men is 94%. So you can see out of uh, 100 men, women, uh, 63 of them are, uh, are, are having uh, or doing labor force. While for men, out of 100, it's 94 of them, they are doing some labor force uh, participation. And um, despite uh, their increased presence in public life, women continue to do 2.6 times the unpaid care and domestic work than men do. So whatever rate is in your country or in your situation, um, when it comes to unpaid care, women are still on the high risks, higher risks than, the, than, than, than men for a difference of 2.6 times of whatever is. So about 470 million, million jobs are needed globally for new entrants um, or applicants or those who are aspiring to the labor market between 2016 through 2030. So you can see the situation that uh, we still need a lot of efforts. We still need a lot to create new 470 employment opportunities at least now to bring the balance of the need of the job uh, across the world and these are not only job but we should really mean decent work so um this world and economic situation under prospect 2019 they they, they raised saying that science suggests global economic growth spots has picked but will remain steady to 3% in, through 2019-2020. Economic prospects threatened by weakened support for multilateralism, tightening of financial conditions, and heightened trade tensions across the world. So you can see there are things which now have really been a challenge towards stabilization of um, economic in the world and some of those things. Now, we do not have uh, um, a good or we have now weakened multilateral agreements uh, between different states. Um, and the, at the end of the day, we find that uh, we do not have a stable economic. Uh, hence, employment goes down and the tightening of financial conditions. The same due to uh, conflict as we have been seeing, uh, like what's happening, the tension between uh, um, USA and Russia, uh, USA and China, and the related things, uh, the pull between the things. Even in Tanzania, we've been having some challenges, um, uh, economic uh, growth and economic relationships uh, when it comes to uh, these uh, international agreements, uh, um, especially on mining and things of that kind. Though uh, we are improving, especially on tourism, we see that there are so many people coming in the country, but uh, still we are having tensions on matters related to natural resources 
as we all know what happened with the Barrick um, company and uh, other things uh, of the same nature, especially on gold and diamond here in the country. Our president, His Excellency John Pombe Magufuli, has been so strict, and he really wants um, these natural resources to benefit our our people, to benefit uh, the citizens of this country, which is very good. So sometimes this brings a lot of tensions, but uh, at the end of the day, we hope good arrangements will keep on coming, and uh, at the end of the day, the life will be very better. So now, what is this SDG number eight? As we have said, uh, the SDG number eight, which is decent work and economic growth. Uh, this um, goal number eight had uh, its offset targets, of which these targets now have to be realized. First, have to be understood by youth, everyone else, and um, kept as uh, indicators now of what will be next. So the, the, the goal had target, and target, target number one was um, to sustain per capita economic growth in accordance with the national circumstances, and in particular at least 7% gross domestic product growth per annum in the least developed countries. What does this mean? Uh, sustaining uh, per capita economic grow, uh, growth in accordance with national circumstances and in particular at least 7% gross domestic product growth per annum in the least developed countries. So those countries which are now picking up or those who are still moving so slowly at least to have sustained their per capita income and the domestic growth to about 7% by 2030. Um, uh, target number two was to achieve higher levels of economic productivity through diversification, technological upgrading, and innovation, including through a focus on high value added and labor intensive sector. This is very important as we know. Um, uh, what we are or what we produce, if do not have that quality um, and if it's not diversified or uh, if we are not diversifying our productivity, that means if we stack this way, we can't move the other way. So we need to have um, a multiple um, means or multiple uh, products out of what we are doing then we should really make sure the technology is really upgraded and innovations are really involved to ensure that we really have high value added uh, products and indeed labor intensive sectors that we need to intensify uh, more power, more force on, on labor matters that without having a strong labor system which is really, really uh, equipped by um, first as human resource, also um, based on the sectors or that, we need to have sectors which are really well equipped with what equipment are needed, but also human resource who are also well equipped with the knowledge and skills. Um, then we have goal number eight, uh, still goal, uh, target number three of the goal number eight is um, to promote development um, oriented policies that support productivity productive as activities, design job creation, entrepreneurship, activity and innovation, and encourage the formalization and growth of micro, small and medium-sized enterprises, including um, through access to financial services. This is one of the very, very basic and a very important target that uh, without promoting the develop, development-oriented policies, because a policy is what now gives the focus of what the country is targeting to move through or to move toward. These policies, they must really stand to support the productivity or the productive activities. That they, 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 it should not be having only activities, but the, there should be activities which really brings out the outcomes we see and the outcomes which have impact in the community. Uh, we still need to have decent job creation, uh, works which keeps the human dignity, uh, works which keeps the respect of um, uh, human nature, 
but indeed uh, work which keeps our environment uh, safe. Uh, we need uh, people also to engage in, in entrepreneurship, which is very important that people, they should also have means. This is one of the diversification that uh, you might also be employed by the government or whatsoever case, but still you have something as yourself. At small scale, what do you get? Uh, instead of just spending it out and necessarily use it to invest in something, uh, you can have a shop, let's say for Empresa or what we call the people in the US um, or something of that nature whereby you engage yourself as something for you to run a personal business, be it a small or whatever, uh, it matters if you have one. Indeed, uh, the goal uh, gives us an impression that we should be create, uh, creative or we should have a lot of creativity and innovation that uh, we have gone to school, we have studied, we have skills, we should not wait for someone to come and give us a job, but should ourselves now come up with a means to uh, suggest for new ways to move in this world, uh, to move with everything. I think this is one of the places where we should really keep more strength and efforts we as young people because the world has really neglected we young people especially so it's our creativity and innovation will make us move forward and we will really uh, be moved. Indeed, it, uh, it encourages and encouraging the formalization of growth and the growth of micro, small and medium-sized enterprises. As, as we see now, um, our president, John Pombe Magufuri, is excellent. He has uh, decided to formalize all the vendors or what we call the matchinger. He has decided now to give them IDs whereby they can just move with them uh, wherever they go and they'll be recognized but uh, them being recognized first they get into the system because they're registered then also they contribute something and uh, they pay like 20,000 per ID which is one of the way to formalize this business so we we now know there's this person who has this ID and is doing that. and this will be done like uh, annually people will be doing this so you know in one way or the other they pay something to the government but also they become formal they earn some dignity respect and in whatever small they're doing they find joy and uh, happiness so indeed also it has to include uh, the access to financial services. This is one of the most challenging parts, especially to our developing countries. First, it's not easy to access financial services from the banks. Uh, why? Because um, most of the banks have uh, strict conditions where you need to have collateral for you to do this work, which is really not easy. Um, indeed, you need to have, uh, um, apart from having the collateral, you need to have something as like uh, something is moving on. But also, uh, the rates are very high. You find like uh, getting a loan from a bank, you need to, uh, to, to pay back an interest of uh, some banks, even 20%, some 11 and st- So it's a lot, uh, which gives also another hard part of it. So if it's a bit lowered, it can help. I think the government should check on this and uh, see how uh, this can be changed. So indeed, um, on goal number eight, target number four, it counts on uh, improve progressively through 2030 global resources efficiency in consumption and production and endeavor to decouple economic growth from environmental degradation in accordance with the 10 year framework of programs on sustainable consumption and production with developed countries taking the lead. Yeah, because uh, whenever it comes to uh, uh, resources and consumption and production, uh, the, the, the the developing countries are still suffering when it comes to the effect to the environmental degradation. Though the developed countries, when it comes to this also, they take lead as uh, the, their industrial activities are really affect the ozone layer and things of that kind. So here also we need to have progressively that something without uh, regression, it should be progressing uh, towards the best. As when we reach 2030, we should have really reached a better global resource efficiency in consumption and in production and never the cup of economic growth from environmental degradation. So it's important. Also, got number eight, target number five. By 2030, achieve full and productive employment and decent work for all women and men, including for young people and persons with a disability, uh, disabilities and equal pay for work of equal value. Yeah, we see again to achieve full and productive employment.
productive employment. Yeah, people do not have full employment. They do not have works which really um, stand as productive to them, and they are not decent work, especially to women, as we have seen the previous data, that men, uh, women are always uh, having uh, unpaid care for for some uh, for a little bit higher percent compared to to men. So we need to have a change of this. Include also uh, people with their disabilities have to be respected, be granted a job, and we need to get we need to get uh, equal pay for work of equal value. Some are overworked; they work for many hours, but they are paid less. So we need to have something which has a kind of um, um, equality into the work. Indeed, by 2020, substantially reduce the proportion of youth not in employment, education, or training. This will be very important to have said youth is, uh, uh, young people are the are the ones who are so many in the in any community. So if we will lower the, the, the portion of youth uh, with my employment, education and training, we shall have really done the best team into uh, the, the strategies to ensure SDGs is, uh, is sustainable development. God is existing. I mean, sustainable development is really in our community. Um, that's according to target number six. Target number seven is um, take immediate and effective measures to eradicate forced labor and modern slavery and human trafficking and secure the prohibition and elimination of the worst forms of child labor, including requirement and use of child soldiers, and by 2025, end child labor in all its forms. This is one of the worst things, trust me, the question of child labor, human trafficking, and uh, modern slavery. Because uh, today now, it's really these things are really done uh, in a very sophisticated way, in a way that people are really getting into these things sometimes without even them knowing or without them even being willing. But at the end of the day, um, their concept is uh, just taken. Like, take an example of child soldiers uh, in places um, um, like uh, uh, southern Sudan, in places like Congo. Where we are, we are hearing of all these cases every now and then for many years. Um, it is really a challenge whereby your child is supposed to be in school is already spoiled on how to 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 kill others. So if you watch some of the movies, you can really understand what this means because it's not easy sometimes to see these cases direct. But we need to end these things, issues of human trafficking, and some of them are very young people. They are tra- they they're, they're being taken to different countries. They are separated from their families. They miss the love from their parents, um, which becomes very bad. But even to adults, it will really affect them. So we really need to see here the government is so strict and ensuring uh, me- mechanisms to keep uh, the, the theft of the people. Um, even people, even especially young people, should also be very careful not to be just, uh, just told there's a job here, you do this. And this is especially in the, uh, the things of uh, human slavery and human trafficking. Uh, there are cases really happening that people are uh, taken from Africa to either Arabic countries uh, where the working environment is also very harsh to Africans. There are friends of mine who have been working in different countries like um, uh, the United uh, Arab Emirates. When they come back, they tell us well, these places have been really difficult for us, some that have been in Saudi Arabia and stuff. So I don't know what's happening, but it seems uh, people are going to work there. They are treated as slaves. We need to count on this and see how the world is going to be safe. Um, Target number eight is a protect labor rights and promote safe and secure work environment for workers, including migrant workers, in particular women, migrants, and those in uh, peculiarities and uh, employment. Yeah, we need to improve safety because safety is everything to women, especially uh, to migrants, because migrants now are the ones who are sometimes treated or mistreated uh, without uh, without even care that because they're not um, citizens of the country, then they they are really mistreated. We should treat them well because they're also human beings. Take number nine. 
uh, gives by 2030 device and implemented policies to promote sustainable tourism that creates jobs and promotes local culture and products this is very good we really need to have our culture because our culture is what defines us what makes us different is our culture we are whom we are and they are whom they are simply because of their culture so this must really include um, the better production of different products based on our culture where the people they may come in they may be coming to see what we are who we are and uh, makes the difference which will attract the world, color the world and do that. Because the, the world today, especially developing countries, people tend to adopt other people's culture and ignore theirs. So you find some culture from developed countries replacing the culture in the developing countries. So this is something very important. We should count on our foods. Uh, we should count on our lifestyles. Uh, we should count on... Um, how things are and modify them and not to replace them with a new culture. We modify them to become better and see how the same systems in Africa can keep on being working because that's our legacy. Um, then target number 10 is strengthening the capacity of domestic financial institutions to encourage and expand access to banking, insurance and financial services for all. Yeah, this is very important, the, 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 the uh, capacitating domestic financial institutions uh, to first help the government to have means to even access funds from the local um, banking, which might have lower interest, but also we'll have um, uh, big access even to the citizens to have funds. And indeed, uh, this also expand the access to banking to the local people and everyone around. But the question of insurance and financial services for all is still a question that people do not have means. First, most of the people like in Tanzania do not know the issues of insurance. They do not know things about um, uh, how to do their financial services and arrangements. So at the end of the day, people in cars, losses. We do not have insurance in things like agriculture. Uh, we do not have insurance in things like um, uh, even our businesses. In fact, someone has, is having a business but does not have insurance. We do not have health insurances to many people because these things are very are still very expensive and known to very few people and uh, most of them those who are working in formal sectors so we need a thing to see how insurances to everyone and financial services are easily accessed by everyone so they these financial institutions they should not only think about how to how to increase their their their, uh, their profit but also they should think on how they are doing um, the best to ensure everyone has an access then we have uh, goal number 8A, which is increase aid for trade support for developing countries, in particular, uh, in particular, least developed countries, including through the enhanced integrated framework for trade-related technical assistance to least developed countries. This is very important. And 8B, by 2020, develop and operationalize a global strategy for youth employment and implement the global jobs pact uh, of the international labor uh, organization so this is what made now young people to come up with a caucus number four agenda which was on promoting inclusive and sustainable economic growth employment and decent work for young people as per SDG number eight and now here are the resolutions um, this now this is the resolution which was passed by these young people so I'll read for you the 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 the, 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 the 14 uh, points of the caucus number four as uh, they were discussing on uh, promoting inclusive and sustainable economic growth employment and decent work for young people so we start with the, the, the point number one, condense in the strongest terms the discrimination of young people in development process of national economies. This is important that there should be no, there should be no discrimination of young people. They should be involved in all processes for national economies, no matter how young they are, but this is it's still their country, still part of them, they must be involved because it's really important if we need to move forward. Because at the end of the day, there are the same people who have to be affected or to affect some of these things. 
uh, we need to have mechanism on how these people they can be involved because we cannot also involve people without any proper means. So we should set the system there. Strongly condemns the continuing exploitation and discrimination of for against and again uh, discrimination against all youth in the basis of their age, disabilities, religion, or beliefs, sex, and any other basis of discrimination, contrary to the national law. Indeed, here it must be to the national law and international law. Because a country like Tanzania is um, uh, it's not a it's not a, a monolist. It's a, it's a dualist state whereby um, her laws uh, stands prior to the any other law, unless otherwise the international law has been adopted according to to Article sixty uh, three of the Constitution of Tanzania, uh, whereby it's in the House of the Representative they will adopt any international agreement or. or any international, um, so whatever, sage, a law or whatever, to become part and parcel of our laws, even if it was assented somewhere else in the world. So it's important. Then um, the pros, the high rate of unemployment among the youths and the lacunas in the decent at work places. So we should also see how to really, really change the situations in the, um, in the working places to ensure that is in its development. So underlines the need to hold uh, perpetrators, employers, and financiers and sponsors of these acts accountable and to bring them to justice. Uh, it has been in the, in the experience that these people who are doing most of these uh, um, effects, which brings to the, the issue of unemployment and um, and decent works and stuff, it makes it become like they are not taken before the, 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 the hand of justice. Those of these things are keeping on. We need them to be whole, held liable so that they can understand and try to sort out the matter. Urges all states to raise awareness and the emphasis, emphasize the adoption of green jobs among the youth through technology platforms such as social media write the programs, newspaper, and any other applicable mode of communication. It's important that these people, uh, the, the states must make sure they put the emphasis on green jobs uh, because without them, without technology, the platforms won't be able to work and they, we really need the, these things to be there for us. Uh, urges all states to work together to develop um, education curriculum Tailored to equip youths with the sustainable and practical skills to meet global needs and improve employability chances through encouraging the participation of youth in financial management, training chances through encouraging the participation of youth in financial management training, uh, clinical thinking, entrepreneurship training, volunteer and internship programs in order to equip uh, youth and they may be able to acquire practical skills and experiences. You find now there's a challenge whereby you finish a, a school today, you go in the street and you find an announcement that we need a person who to, can serve in our office, but this person must have an, ex, an experience of not less than five years. And you question, I, I, do, I do not have any chance, not the government, not every, not, not, nowhere I was given a chance to maybe do my internship, to volunteer or to have any training or stuff. But now I'm told to have experience of five years, what do I get it? So the government now should see how it works together with different agencies to have practical skills of, of everything. Be it a student or what, people should be going for some training or stuff, so especially when people need to, to do practice of whatever they'll do, be it in leadership, business or whatever. Um, that's very important. Um, encourages all states to pro to introduce and implement career guidance and uh, supervision of young people early in life to give them enough time to polish the skills and give them a better chance um, at uh, competing internationally. 
Um, it's still a challenge to many countries, even here in Tanzania. I've been, I've been sometimes going to volunteer uh, teaching in some of the schools here in the country. I've gone to places like Goma, even here in Tabora, and different. I've been meeting different people, uh, different young people, different country from different countries. Um, and you ask most of them, you young man, uh, you are now maybe in a form six. Uh, you are finishing now your advanced level of education. What's your plan in the future? What do you want to study in the university? A person will tell you, I, I'm still um, not sure. Maybe I'll do this. So you see someone to a moment is going to join the university. A person is not knowing what or she is uh, capable of, is uh, targeting to do in the future. This is very serious and it's a problem. It's a risk because we end up having a very big group of young people who do not know even their focus. So we need to have career guidance in all places. But parents should be the first people to do this because they are the ones who stays with their children from young age. But teachers are very important because they stay with the young people, the children for longer age than, than any other person um, uh, during the young age. So it's important for these programs to be in the schools so that young people are going to be able to shape themselves and understand where they should stick. This will help productivity in developing countries as others, uh, they, are, they, they, are, they are doing this and it has proved to work better in developed countries. And the young people, they should really help this from a very young age uh, because it seems their brain is really uh, growing uh, to a bigger part uh, at the age between three years to five years old uh, and from seven, um, five to seven years where kids start school that's where they should really be impacted with so many small, small things, which will help them to have a better um, learning um, memory in the future. So it's important. Indeed, uh, improve in states to protect, promote equality, and to foster domestic environment of inclusiveness, the rigid tolerance, and peace through building a strong national institution for in the enforcement of labor rights of citizens, both domestically and abroad, which is recognized and delegated by the international labor law, as well as any other international laws relating to the same. Um, also, uh, invites all states to create bodies with a mandate to carry out research on green jobs and inventing sustainable modes of job creation in their respective streets as well as partnering with the different academic institutions to engage youths in this process and exposing them to the opportunities there. And it's very important that uh, these research is on green jobs to be really done so that youth can really be uh, given knowledge. And it should not be just research, but what gives the reality and which can also make young people to stand and say, okay, I can do this. Uh, because this is better than the other one. The more we have the choices, the better the choices we can make in our lives. So uh, we move on to emphasis em uh, to emphasizes the need for all states um, to abrogate bureaucracies and nepotism in their respective territories by strongly enforcing retirement of persons above the retirement ages in order to create opportunities for young work. Uh, forces. Uh, it's important that we need. We have a lot of bureaucracy and nepotism, in, especially in developing countries. And some of them, they are very bad. It affects people that they cannot get job because they are not known. You have good GPA, you have good performance, but you cannot get job. And people get this the same job where we can. They cannot even do anything. But it, because there are some people, they do get a job. So we need this to really, really see that emphasis is kept, and this has to come to an end before twenty that. So call for strengthen, strengthen the international relationship to foster and implement labor exploitation between states in order to provide broader knowledge and employment opportunities, opportunities to youths in turn facilitates mutual development between states. It's important because if states work together, this will really bring the best. If, for, let's say, if in East Africa we would have this free market, it would really help people to share skills, be awakened, and things of that kind. Because otherwise, if we do things in a way, uh, each state is independent. There are things which are not in here, but then the other hand. But if we come together and do as one nation, things will really 
move uh, moreover uh, uh, better indeed invite states to improve the quality of products produced in their countries as way of working toward building uh, of a sustainable economy yeah if you need to have something which pays you better you really have to pro- to produce in quality and quantity uh, no matter what quantity you produce without quality it will really not give you a lot in the world market so it's important to make sure we uh, we encourage our states to do better on this uh, further uh, invite states to create global entrepreneurship platforms as model of support and providing youths with a way to interact exchange knowledge and find market for their skills and product this is very important um if uh, the states can create the, the, the platform for the young people to come together and uh, share their business skills and uh, so ever it will really help them to get the market and skills are not producing and related things so it's important indeed uh, to the last uh, point which is point number 14 um is a uh, advice state to support and instill cultural values in the youth as way of building a spirit of patriotism inside them to motivate them to work towards the development of respective nations yeah this is also one of the very important aspect because without having that sense of uh, nationalism love to your nation love to your state you will never be able to do anything better towards your country. You'll just be either an exploit or what. And this must start with you uh, loving your country, loving your culture, loving your values and things of that kind and see how they, they can be respected. Most of the young people today, we tend to like things which are just said by the uh, UN, said by international agencies and stuff, and we don't bother about what is said by our countries. We tend to see them as nothing. So we need to promote our culture values as young people uh, have this beautiful patriotism which will make us love the nation love each other and support everyone so this comes to an end to the presentation of um, the the ga uh, resolution which was adopted by the tanzania international model un uh, in 2019 in morogoro but uh, still, I will leave the doors open for you to share anything about what I've presented. I'll, I, I hope I will send this to Dr. Sebastian that he can upload it uh, in my page so that whoever wants to share or to ask a question or do anything, you may check me through the, the, the radio page. But still, you can also check me through my WhatsApp number, which uh, you may opt to check me using the Tanzanian number or the Kenyan number. Uh, of which the Tanzanian number is uh, plus two five five. You must start with that code, and um, you move with the uh, seven six seven one nine two nine five eight. I can repeat the number is plus two five five seven six seven one nine two nine five eight. Or the Kenyan number, uh, which is also work, working better in WhatsApp, is plus two five four. Um, seven double three forty six double three fourteen. Or well, if I may repeat again, it's uh, plus two five four seven double three forty six double three one four. Those are my numbers. But you can still also check me on my Instagram page, which I'm using as the same as Kahama Manuel Peter, and you can also check me on my Facebook page, uh, using the the, the name as uh, the, the same, and the over email so that you can keep on expanding sharing about this i think i'll get some times next and i'll share more about all the uh, 17 global goals i'll share one after another because it's one of the things which uh, um, we really need to do especially to the young people in uh, developing countries we should be aware of what these sdgs are but uh, even other nations they should know how do we perceive the sdgs how do we see the sdgs you get all this through the voice of hope thank you for listening i hope you'll have a best sunday as we have been as we are celebrating um the accession of jesus christ so thank you so much have a lovely day and uh, God bless you. This is Carmen Manuel Peter. Enjoy your Sunday. Hello, Jesus Christ. Melele Amina. Karibu katika kipindi chetu cha sauti ya matumaini. 
ambacho kinarushwa kutoka hapa mkoani Tabora nchini Tanzania um, uh, katika uwanda huu wa Afrika Mashariki unaisikiliza redio yetu ya WCAT kutoka Marekani nami ni mtangazaji wako Kahama Emmanuel Peter basi leo tukiwa katika Jumapili ya kupaa kwa Bwana basi tumefurahia maubiri na pengine kama basi bado hujaenda kanisani nikutakie pia maandalizi mema ya ibada ya misa takatifu ili basi uh, nawe uweze kuona jinsi bwana wetu Yesu Kristo alivyomaliza kazi yake hapa duniani naye akaamua kurudi kwa baba anarudi ili akapate tuzo yake lakini pia anarudi kwa maana na kwa sababu anahitaji kwenda kutuangalia sisi mahali palipo sahihi zaidi na anakwenda pia ili basi aweze kufuritea roho mtakatifu ambaye yeye ndio mgawa karama yeye ndio mgawa vipaji na vipawa mbalimbali roho mtendaji roho wa kazi basi katika siku ya leo tukiwa tunaendelea na kipindi chetu ambacho uh, tulikuwa tunajadiliana kuhusu um, kikao cha vijana au mkutano wa vijana wa moja mataifa ambao ulipitisha basi makubaliano yake ambayo uh, yalipitishwa na kikao kikuu au general assembly katika kikao cha vijana wa moja mataifa ambacho kilifanyika hapa Tanzania mwezi Mei uh, mwezi April mpaka mwezi wa Mei mwanzoni uh, mkoani Morogoro Tanzania basi tumejaribu tumepitia na kuona uh, yale mapendekezo hoja ambazo zilitengenezwa kuanzia na caucus number 1 caucus number 2 mpaka kufikia caucus number 4 wiki iliyopita tuli break kidogo kwa ajili ya kupata uh, break kidogo ili kuona kama tungeweza kusikia kitu kingine tukiendelea kutafakari yale ambayo tulikuwa tumejifunza basi leo tutaweza kumalizia uh, sehemu hii ya caucus number 4 ambayo basi iliweza kuelezea swala zima la kuhakikisha kuna kuwa na uhimizwaji wa ushiriki na mipango endelevu ya uchumi ajira na kazi zenye siha kwa vijana basi msingi wa ajenda hiyo ulitoka katika lengo namba nane lengo la umoja wa mataifa lengo namba nane kwa hiyo unajaribu kufikiria kwanza ili lengo namba nane lilikujaje kwa nini umoja wa mataifa aliamua kuwepo na hili lengo liwepo tunaona kwamba katika pitia takwimu za sasa ambazo zimeletwa na World Economic Situation Prospect ambayo iko pia chini ya umoja wa mataifa na hasa ukiangalia taarifa za kitengo cha umoja wa mataifa ambacho kinahusika na mambo ya uchumi pamoja na maendeleo ya jamii ya United Nations Department of Economic and Social Affairs basi utaona wanasema kwamba um, kufikia mwaka 2017 Uh, karibu asilimia tano nukta sita ya watu duniani walikuwa bado hawana ajira ambayo imepungua kutoka asilimia sita nukta nne ya mwaka elfu mbili basi utaona pia mpaka elfu mbili na kumi na saba utaona kwamba ulimwengu ulikuwa bado na asilimia sitini na moja ya wafanyakazi ambao wote hawakuwa katika ajira zilizo rasmi mpaka kufikia mwaka elfu mbili na kumi na sita na asilimia hamsini na moja kati ya hao Uh, utaona basi walikuwa wapo katika uh, kategori ambayo ni ya kukosa kazi na uh, unaona katika asilimia moja ukitoa asilimia moja basi asilimia kumi peke yake ni ya wale ambao wapo katika sekta ya kilimo uh, basi utaona pia um, uh, wanaume bado wanaongozwa kwa kipato cha asilimia mbili nukta tano Ukiwazi, wakiwazidi wanawake na hii ni katika taarifa ambayo imerekodiwa katika nchi 40 kati ya nchi 45 ambazo zina uh, zina data za wanaume na wanawake ambao basi wanajitahidi katika kutafuta kipato au wanajitafutia kipato um, katika, katika ulimwengu mzima unaona kwamba uh, usawa wa kijinsia bado unakuwa na bado ni mkubwa kwa asilimia tatu ambapo unaona Uh, ikiendelea hivi itatuchukua uh, muda mrefu sana karibu miaka na nane kuweza kuleta usawa na unaona kwamba wanawake basi ndio ambao uh, wana asilimia tatu 
katika masuala mazima ya kazi za nguvu au tunasema labor force na wanaume wana asilimia na Kwa tuna kuna gipu kubwa la karibia asilimia na moja uh, kati ya wanaume na wanawake katika labor force. Bado wanaume ni wengi na wanawake ni wachache. Lakini pia pamoja na ongezeko kubwa la la la, la uelewa na, na na mambo yote katika jamii hasa katika maisha unaona kwamba bado wanawake wanaendelea kuwa chini kwa karibu asilimia mbili nukta sita ya, ya kazi ambazo yani wao wako mbele kwa kiwango kidogo cha cha karibu asilimia mbili nukta sita cha kazi ambazo basi sio za malipo rasmi unaona wao wana kiwango kikubwa kulinganisha na wanaume kwa hiyo kama kuna wanaume e, na wanawake ishirini wanaume ishirini na wanawake ishirini basi kati yao hao utaona kama tunapima swala hili la nani ambaye halipi vizuri au hana malipo yaliyo bora katika kazi yake basi wanawake watakuwa wanazidi kwa asilimia mbili nukta sita katika hayo yote lakini kimsingi unaona mpaka kufikia mwaka na kumi na uh, mpaka sasa unaona kwamba tunahitaji kutengeneza ajira milioni na sabini ili kuweka usawa katika soko la dunia la ajira mpaka kufikia mwaka elfu mbili na thelathini. Basi umoja mataifa walikaa chini wakafanya tasnini. Wakaona kwamba uh, mpaka sasa inaonesha kwamba dunia nzima ina karibu uh, watu nusu ya ulimwengu mzima ambao bado wanaishi chini ya dola moja kwa siku na uh, unaona kabisa ukuaji wa wa wa, wa ukwasefu wa ajira unakuwa kwa karibu asilimia tano nukta saba <coughs> na wengi hawa hawana ajira ambazo eh, ni za uhakika kwa hiyo unaona kabisa kukwepo umaskini katika maisha yao sio kitu cha rahisi sana ukuaji wa uchumi ni mdogo na unahitaji sana watu kufikiria na kutengeneza mbinu ambazo kumi uchumi unaweza ukasimama imara na pia uh, mifumo ya kijamii inaweza nayo ikasaidia katika kuondoa umaskini. Uh, kwa hiyo unaona tunahitaji sana kuwepo na na nguvu pamoja katika kuhakikisha tunakuwa na misingi imara ya ajira ambayo inalinda utu lakini pia kupunguza uh, uh, au kuongeza vyanzo vya uzalishi uh, uwekezaji na, na, na kupunguza pia matumizi madogo kwa sababu hizi zinavyoimarisha watu kiuchumi na matumizi yao yanakuwa makubwa ninavyo kwa na, na uwezo mdogo uzalishaji basi hata matumizi ya watu kwa sababu hawana uwezo wa kununua mahitaji yao hiyo inaita shida na kuweza kuathiri mambo mengi ya kisiasa ya kijamii na kiuchumi hata ukuaji wa kiuchumi wa taifa na mwananchi mmoja mmoja basi unakuwa ni shida unaona kwamba ina, inaonekana karibu mataifa mengi bado ukuaji wake unashuka na mengi yanashuka mpaka kufikia asilimia saba hivyo wanaona ni bora kupambana mpaka kufikia mwaka na thelathini basi uchumi uweze kuwa umekuwa uh, pia ule uzalishaji wa nguvu kazi inaonekana kwamba umepungua ajira zimepungua na maisha pia yameweza kuwa na thamani sio kubwa sana na mishahara imeweza kushuka. Hivyo kuwa na malengo endelevu ya kiuchumi inahitaji sana jamii kutengeneza mazingira ambayo yanaruhusu watu kuwa na kazi ambazo uh, ni za uh, uh, tunasema qualifications, kuwa na vigezo ambavyo ni rasmi, basi mifumo ya tengenezo kambo ni rasmi ambayo itaweza kuwa chachu ya mambo ya uchumi wakati inaendelea kulinda mazingira yetu kwa sababu mazingira ndio tunakoishi pia. Kutengeneza pia nafasi mpya ambazo ni salama za kazi, zenye mazingira yaliyo bora na pia kuhitaji kuwa na kiz, uh, uh, limit ya umri katika kazi. Umri ambao tunajua ni salama. Watoto wasifanye kazi ambazo si salama pia lakini watu wazima sana wasifanye kazi waache vijana kuwa na mambo yanayoaje. Lakini pia tunahitaji kuona kama tunaweza kuongeza nguvu katika uh, access ya fedha, uh, access kwenye fedha lakini access pia kwenye taasisi za kifedha ili watu waweze kupata mikopo kuimarisha kilimo miundo mbinu ama mengine ambayo yanaweza kusaidia kuimarisha uzalishaji na kupunguza uh, swala zima la ukosefu wa ajira sio tu katika nchi zetu lakini basi kwa dunia nzima kwa sababu hivyo ndivyo tunaweza kukua hivyo basi umoja wa mataifa wakaja na malengo yao na malengo yalikuwa nane lakini basi moja ya malengo hayo ilikuwa lengo namba nane ambalo ilikuwa linasisitiza 
kuwa na kazi bora na zenye kutunza utu wa mwanadamu au siha au afya ya mwanadamu. Basi katika malengo hayo tunaweza kuona sasa malengo hili namba 8 nilitengeneza uh, malengo yake madogo na yenyewe e, karibu e, kumi hivi ambayo basi kwanza ilikuwa ni kuhakikisha kuna kuwa na uimarishwaji wa uchumi au uimarishaji wa ukuaji wa uchumi wa mwananchi mmoja mmoja lakini pia uimarishaji wa uchumi kwa maana ya taifa zima ili kuhakikisha walau linakuwa kwa asilimia saba kwa, kwa levo ya kitaifa kwa kila mwaka hasa kwa mataifa ambayo yanaendelea lakini pia kuhakikisha kuna kuwa na mafanikio wa makubwa au ya juu katika kuimarisha uzalishaji uh, wa kiuchumi Uh, kuimarisha pia nyanja mbalimbali ambazo zinahusika na uchumi au tunasema kufanya diversification lakini kuhakikisha kwa pia kuna kuwa na, 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 na teknolojia ambayo basi na yenyewe ime, imeimarishwa ambayo itasaidia kukuza uvumbuzi na ugunduzi wa mambo mbalimbali ikiwemo pia ni pamoja na kuangalia au kuhimiza uh, swala zima la kuwa na value au thamani bora ya sekta zote za, uh, za za uzalishaji kwa maana ya watu rasilimali watu na rasilimali nyingine za uzalishaji lakini pia kuhakikisha tunahimiza um, maendeleo eh, kupitia sera zetu ambazo lazima nazo zihimize zi au ziwe na mwelekeo mle, au mlengo wa kuhimiza uzalishaji ambao ni bora lakini pia zilinde na kuhimiza kazi ambazo ni salama na kutengeneza nafasi mbalimbali za kujiajiri nafasi ambazo zinaruhusu watu basi kuwa uh, creative na pia watu kuwa na uwezo wa kuweza kufanya uvumbuzi bila kusahau kwamba inahimiza kufanya uh, mfumo ambao ni, ni, ni wa urasimishwaji wa shughuli ndogo ndogo za biashara au za kiuchumi tunaona mheshimiwa rais wa jamhuri ya muungano wa Tanzania Uh, Dr. John Pombe Magufuli ame, amejaribu sana kulifanya hili na ameweza sasa kutoa njia ya kuweza kurasimisha uh, wale wa machinga wote unaona wanapewa vitambulisho sasa ili basi shughuli zao ziweze kurasimika kwa sababu kwa maana moja kwanza inawapa heshima lakini pili serikali inawatambua na wanachangia kitu kwenye serikali kwa sababu wanalipa shilingi 2020 kila mmoja kitu ambacho basi ni kikubwa kwa msingi na mheshimiwa rais na hilo ni jambo jema anajaribu kutekeleza mambo mengi sana ili kuendeleza lakini pia tunaona lengo lingine ni kuhakikisha kuna ukuaji endelevu uchumi hata kama ni taratibu mpaka kwa mwaka wa 2030 basi kuwe na njia sahihi ambazo tunakuwa na vyanzo vya sahihi ni vya imara vya nishati uh, matumizi pia ya nishati ambayo ni mazuri kwa ajili ya uzalishaji yanadumu lakini pia kuhakikisha hukumu inakuwa diversified au na unatawanywa katika misingi ya ukuaji pasipo kutegemea uchumi wa aina moja pia ukirinda mazingira na kutengeneza uh, mifumo ambayo kwa kweli basi uh, ukuaji wa uchumi unaendana sambamba na uzalishaji faida yake na utunzaji wa mazingira nashukuru pia wizara na mimi ofisi ya ya makamu wa kupitia wizara wa, uh, ya mambo ya muungano pamoja na mazingira ambayo kwa chini ya mheshimiwa Januari Makamba Uh, basi wameweza wao kuchukua hatua moja ikiwa kwanza waliwahi kutangaza kukataza matumizi ya pombe aina ya vinyaji loba lakini pia basi sasa naona wamechukua hatua nyingine ya kwamba wamekataza matumizi ya mifuko ya plastiki au mifuko ya rambo kwa sababu inachangia kwa namna kubwa sana kuathiri mazingira tunashukuru kwa sababu hizi zote ni namna ambazo zinaendelea kulinda uzalishaji lakini pia utunzaji wa mazingira lakini pia kuhakikisha kwamba kufikia mwaka 2030 tunaweza kufanikiwa um, kufikia uh, ule mfumo kamili wa uzalishaji wa mifumo ya ajira na kuimarisha kazi ambazo ni salama kwa wanawake wanaume ikizingatia pia vijana na watu walio na ulemavu au watu ambao wanaishi na ulemavu wa aina mbalimbali hii pia iendane sambamba na kuhakikisha kuna malipo sawa tokana na kiasi au kiwango cha kazi kinachofanyika sababu kumekuwa kuna hali nyingi ya kuona basi watu wanashindwa kupewa mishahara ambayo ni sahihi kazi na kwa nyingi na kubwa kuliko mishahara pengine ambavyo 
wao wanalipwa. Hii ni changamoto lakini basi tunakumbushwa kuweza kudili nayo ili kuhakikisha tunakuwa na mazingira ya salama. Lakini pia kufikia mwaka kuhakikisha mpaka kufikia mwaka 2020 tumekuwa na na na, 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 na kiwango kizuri cha cha kupunguza kiasi cha vijana ambao hawana kazi, hawana elimu au hawana ujuzi wa namna fulani ili kuweza kuwa na kundi kubwa la vijana ambao wanaweza kuwa ni wazalishaji katika jamii. Lakini pia kuhakikisha kwamba uh, kuna hatua za haraka ambazo zinaweza kuhakikisha kwamba kuna kuondolewa au kupunguzwa kwa uh, kazi ambazo zinafanyika za, za, za kulazimisha watu. Uh, kazi pia ambao ni utumwa Uh, tunahusisha pia usafirishaji wa binadamu usafirishaji usafirishaji haramu wa binadamu lakini pia kuhakikisha tuna mbinu ambazo zinazuia uh, kazi mbaya au uh, tunasema worst labor forms especially kwa watoto lakini pia kukataza utumishaji wa watoto katika uh, vikosi vya jeshi na kuhakikisha mpaka tano basi watoto wameweza kuendelea katika mifumo yote ya kazi. Watoto wana haki ya kuishi kusoma na sisi tunalinda watoto tuna haki ya kuhakikisha mifumo inakuwa salama. Lakini pia uh, kuhakikisha uh, watoto uh, wana wanalindwa, I mean uh, wafanyakazi wanalindwa na haki zao zinalindwa na mazingira ya kazi yanakuwa salama na kuhakikisha pia uh, wafanyakazi uh, pia ambao sio wakazi au tusema ni migrants wale wahamiaji katika mataifa mbalimbali nao pia wanalindwa wanawake ambao pia ni migrants wanalindwa kwa sababu wamekuwa kinyenyesika sana kwa vitaiso vingi lakini basi walindwe na kuhakikisha wanapata kazi ambazo ni salama lakini pia kuhakikisha kufikia FG20 uh, kumekuwa na na, 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 na mbinu mbalimbali ambazo zinahitaji zinatumika katika utekelezaji wa wa, wa sera sera mbalimbali mbali, ambazo zinaimiza ukuaji bora na endelevu wa, wa, wa utalii ambao utatengeneza kazi lakini pia utalinda na kukuza utamaduni ha, wa wakazi na pia kuhakikisha ule utamaduni unazalisha vitu ambavyo basi vinaendana na utamaduni ile ili kulinda hadhi na heshima ya jamii hiyo kumekuwa na changamoto kubwa kwamba jamii nyingi sasa zimekuwa zikiacha utamaduni hasa bara la Afrika na kukimbilia tamaduni ambazo sio za kwao kwa sababu tu wakiamini zile ni bora kuliko za kwao. Sasa kuna umuhimu mkubwa kuanzia sasa kuhakikisha tamaduni zetu zinalindwa na kutetewa kwa namna yoyote. Hata kama tamaduni za nje ni nzuri vipi tujue kinachotufanya sisi kuwa sisi na wao kwa wao ni tamaduni zetu. Hivyo tamaduni wetu sisi utulinde, uheshimike na ndio utafanya hata watu wengine waje kutusembelea na kutulinda. Na inaweza kuwa chanzo kizuri cha fedha kama tutatumia busara na akili katika kutekeleza hilo. Ni muhimu kuyafahamu na kuyatambua na kuyaisha. Lakini basi lengo hili liweza kuwa na kipengele A na B lakini basi kipengele A kinasema kwamba kuna haja sasa ya kuona kuna ongezeka au kuna kuwa na ongezeko kubwa la misaada ya kifedha ili kuimarisha sekta ya biashara na, 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 na maendeleo katika nchi zinazoendelea ili basi kuweza kuhimiza uh, mwingiliano wa au kusema integration ya ya ule mfumo wa biashara na, na, na msaada katika uh, mifumo ya utengenezaji biashara uchumi katika nchi zinazoendelea lakini pia um, kitengere B kilikuwa kinahimiza kina kwa mwaka 2020 kuwe kumesha tengenezwa na kuwekwa katika mfumo wa utekelezaji uh, um, tango strategy kwa dunia nzima ambayo itasaidia vijana um, na vijana kupata kazi nzuri na pia uh, vijana kuona kama yale yaliyoandaliwa na na na, na 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 Global Jobs Pact chini ya ya, ya, ya shirika la kimataifa la, la kazi yanaweza kutimizwa na kuhimizwa. Hizo basi hayo yalikuwa hilo lilikuwa lengo namba nane ambalo basi vitu katika kama lengo ni lengo moja mataifa. Hivyo basi vijana hawa katika kumaliza kikao chao hapo na kikao chetu hapo Morogoro tulipitia hayo yote na tukaona sasa na sisi tuje basi na, na, na resolution yetu ambayo iweza kuliongelea lengo hili na tulikuja na mambo kama kumi na nne hivi basi nitayasoma nayo na nikushirikisha pia lengo la kwanza basi au um, kitu cha kwanza tulichokuja nacho kwenye resolution yetu hii ambayo ilikaliandaliwa na caucus number no. 4 na kupitishwa na, na general assembly yote ilisema kwanza kuhakikisha tunalaani na kukataza kwa nguvu zote vitendo vyote au namna zozote ambazo zinahusisha unyanyapano na wa vijana katika shughuli zote za maendeleo katika taifa um, na hasa mambo yanayohusisha uchumi lakini pia 
uh, kwa kukataza kwa nguvu zote mambo yote yanayohusisha unyonyaji na na unyanyasaji wa vijana katika shughuli zote kwa kwa kuangalia labda umri wao labda ahadi uh, zao za za, za kiafya uh, dini uh, eh, maybe pia mtu angalia labda jinsia imani na vitu kama hivyo ili kuhakikisha kwamba tunaondoa unyanyasaji uh, na unyanyapaji katika lugha kitaifa na kimataifa lakini pia kuweka nguvu katika kuhakikisha uh, lile tatizo la ukosefu wa ajira inapungua uh, miongoni mwa vijana katika dunia lakini pia kuhakikisha kwamba um, yale yote ambayo yanafanywa na wale ambao ni waajiri au wasimamizi wa kazi ambayo yanafanywa kwa ajili ya kuonyesha vijana na, na watu wenye matatizo mbalimbali nayo pia yanakatazwa na wale wanaotekeleza hayo basi wafikishwe katika vyombo vya haki na wajibu ili waweze kuwajibishwa kwa sababu wananyanyasa na kuwasumbua vijana lakini pia kwa kuomba mataifa yote kuinua uelewa na kusitiza ukuaji wa kazi njema ambazo vijana wanaweza kutumia uh, um, uelewa au kupata uelewa kwa ajili ya kuweza kuimarisha maisha yao na hii inaweza kufanyika kupitia uh, vyombo vya habari uh, social media au mitandao ya kijamii lakini pia tunaweza kuona pia mazingira yetu yanaruhusu namna ipi ya mawasiliano ili kuinua uelewa juu ya kazi bora za vijana lakini pia kuhakikisha mataifa yote yanakuja pamoja kutengeneza mfumo ambao unaweza kuwatengeneza vijana kuweza kuwa na elimu ambayo ni bora elimu endelevu unaweza kuwa na skills au ujuzi ambao basi ni, ni, ni halisi wa kuweza kutekeleza mambo ambayo inaweza kusaidia wao kuongeza nafasi yao ya kupata ajira lakini pia naweza kusaidia wao kushiriki katika shughuli mbalimbali au mifumo ya kifedha usimamizi lakini pia hata kuwa na uwezo wa kuhoji kujadili kuimarisha mbinu zao za kuingia katika sala la uzalishaji binafsi um, lakini pia kujitolea na kufanya mazoezi na majaribio ya kazi ili kujimarisha na kuimarisha ujuzi wao na uzoefu lakini pia kuna swala zima la kuzihimiza serikali au mataifa mbalimbali kuweza ku, 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 kuweka mifumo ambayo inaweza sasa kuandaa vijana kujitambua na kufahamu wao wangependa kuwa kina nani katika maisha ya baadaye tunasema career guidance and supervision kwa sababu unakuta vijana wengi bado paka na mariza hata chuo hajui alichosomea ndo anahitaji ula kitu ambacho ni changamoto hasa katika nchi zetu zinazoendelea hivyo basi ni vema kuweza kuandaa vijana ili wapate nafasi ya kuweza kujielewa kujitambua na kuweza kuwa na uwezo wa kushindana katika level mbalimbali kitaifa na hata kimataifa lakini zaidi kuyaweza kwa mataifa kuweza kulinda kutetea na kuimarisha usawa uh, katika uh, mazingira ndani na kimataifa ili hii ikiwa ni pamoja na kuweka vijana pamoja kuimarisha um, uvumilivu wa kidini kuweka amani lakini pia kuwa na na, 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 na na, na miundo mbinu ambayo inaweza kusaidia haki za wafanyakazi na raia basi katika level ya kitaifa na kimataifa zinaeleweka zinafahamika zinaheshimika kutokana na mikataba mbalimbali lakini pia na mifumo ambayo uh, shirika la kazi la kimataifa limeweza kuyaweka lakini pia kuhakikisha kwamba uh, mataifa yote sasa yanatengeneza um, uh, vyombo ambavyo vina, vina mamlaka ya kufanya utafiti juu ya kazi zipi ambazo zinaweza zikawekwa kazi zipi zinazo kuwa bora kazi zipi zinazo kuwa zinahitajika katika jamii yetu sasa ambazo zinaweza nikawa zikawa ni kazi ambazo basi zina heshima kwa vijana hii itakuwa ni swala kubwa kwa sababu kutakuwa na mifumo ambayo inatusaidia kujua kazi zipi ziwepo zinaweza kuendaje kupelekwaje na zinaweza zinaweza zikawa kwa muda mrefu ujao hii inaweza kuhusisha uh, watu kutengenezwa mifumo ambayo ni ya, ni ya kushirikishana kushirikiana katika nyanja mbalimbali za kiuchumi ili basi waweze kutengeneza uh, mifumo ya kwanza wao kujifunza wao kukutana wao kutana na ulimwengu hivyo kutambua au kupata nafasi ya kukutana na nafasi mbalimbali au tunasema opportunities uh, pia uh, kuhimiza mataifa yote duniani kuhakikisha wanapunguza uh, 
mifumo ambayo basi inakuwa ni migumu sana na, na ile hali ya kujuana sana au rasimu unaona kuna kuwa na changamoto nyingi ukienda serikalini mpaka kupata kupata hiki na kile basi maofisa wengi hawapendi kukutana na watu hasa vijana wanapenda pengine kuwapa kazi ambao ni, ni mguu zao na mambo kama mengine hayo hivyo ni muhimu sana serikali kuondoa mipaka hiyo na kuhakikisha inaweka umri wa watu kustafu na vijana kuweza kupata nafasi ya kuweza kuajiriwa katika nafasi hizo lakini pia basi ya kutoa ilitoa wito kuimarishwa kwa ushirikiano wa kimataifa ili kuhakikisha uh, kuna kuwa na utekelezaji mzuri wa wa, wa makubaliano ya kimataifa na mikataba ya kati ya mataifa ili basi kuweza kukuza uh, namna ambazo vijana wanaweza kupata nafasi ya kukuza uelewa wao ajira na mambo mengine kama hayo kwa ajili ya faida ya maendeleo kati ya taifa na taifa lakini pia kuwalika vijana kuweza kuhakikisha sasa na wao wanashiriki katika kuimarisha uh, ubora wa uzalishaji na vile vinavyozalishwa katika mataifa yao ili basi kuhakikisha kuna kuwa na uchumi ambao unaendelea lakini zaidi pia mataifa uh, yaliyombwa ya, ya kuhakikisha kwamba yanatengeneza mifumo ambayo ni, ni ni ya, ni ya kusaidia sasa tunasema kusaidia ujasiria mali katika level ya kimataifa watu mbalimbali wakutane katika vikao mikutano ambayo inayojadili uh, na kuwasilisha mezani hivi vitu ambavyo vimefanywa na vijana au watu katika namna ya kujiajiri wao wenyewe hii inaweza kusaidia vijana kukutana kushirikishana kushia na kuweza kupata uzoefu zaidi katika shughuli zao katika utengenezaji wao na kusaidia ukuaji wa uchumi kwa dunia na vijana na mataifa yenyewe. Na mwisho basi ilikuwa ni kuomba mataifa au kuyashauri mataifa mbalimbali duniani kuhakikisha wanasaidia sana uh, kukuza utamaduni wa vijana. Amini kukuza utamaduni na, na, na zile zile misingi za kitamaduni miongoni mwa vijana ili kujenga basi ile hali ya, ya kwanza kabisa kufahamu utamaduni lakini zaidi kujenga hali ya uzalendo kwa maana ya kwamba kupenda vitu ambavyo ni vya msingi vya kwao katika mataifa yao ili basi kuweza kuhakikisha wana 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 wanakuza wana motivate au wanaamsha ile hali ya wao uh, kufanya kazi katika misingi ya maendeleo kuelekea sera za kitaifa na sio wao kufanya shughuli kwa sera ambazo si za kitaifa na baadaye basi uchumi unakuta unakwenda uh, kinyume na matakwa ya taifa na basi kunakuwa na migongano na migoro mingi. Basi tunaishia hapo kwa siku ya leo. Nashukuru sana kwa sababu tumekuwa pamoja kuanzia kwenye kokas number 1 mpaka tumefika kokas number 4. Naamini nitapata nafasi ambayo ni ya kuyawasilisha sasa malengo endelevu ya moja mataifa yote kuanzia uh, lengo namba moja mpaka lengo namba kumi na saba nitapata nafasi ni nitaongelea yote kwa sababu ni muhimu sasa vijana hasa kufahamu um, nini maana ya haya malengo endelevu ya moja mataifa kwa sababu malengo haya yana mambo mengi ambayo uh, ukiangalia malengo haya yamewekwa mwaka 2015 na yatakupa mpaka 2030 atujuli ni kinafuata baada ya hapo lakini kimsingi ni kwamba kama aliwekwa mtu akiwa na miaka 15 atakuja kuisha akiwa na miaka 30 tayari ni mtu mzima atakuwa na familia kwa haya utaona kuna mambo yanayohusisha uzazi wa mpango kuna mambo yanayohusisha taarifa mbalimbali na vitu vingi ni muhimu sana kwa vijana kuyafahamu ni muhimu sana kwa sisi kuweza kujitolea kujifunza na kuona je yamekamilika wapi yana mapungufu wapi na kuweza kuyaweka sawa basi nakushukuru na nikupatie namba zangu za simu kama kuna lolote unaweza kunitafuta kupitia WhatsApp au unaweza kunitafuta kwenye Facebook page yangu kama kama umeona ilipita au unaweza kunitafuta kupitia Instagram page pia natumia jina hilo hilo lakini unaweza kunitafuta pia kupitia page ya radio ya WCT Radio kuna page pale utanikuta la zaidi labda kwa WhatsApp namba yangu ambayo ni takupatia kwa sababu sasa ni lazima kama uko nchi ya tofauti na Tanzania lazima uanze na kodi ambayo ni kujumlisha 255767 moja tisa mbili tisa tano nane au kwa namba yangu nyingine ambayo uh, hii sasa ni WhatsApp lakini ni namba ya Kenya na ni kujumlisha mbili tano nne saba tatu tatu nne sita tatu tatu 
1.4 Kwa mawazo maoni ushauri na chochote tafadhali uko huru share na mimi tujifunze tuweze kuendeleza dunia yetu na kushukuru sana Mungu akubariki uwe na siku njema asante We hope you enjoyed the program and will join us back for another show on WCAT Radio. This is Sebastian Mafud. Good day.